The world above slept, the night's curtain drawn, but below the surface of the ocean an ethereal glow beckoned. The soft shimmer of the sea's surface gave way to the clearer, deeper azure of the open ocean. With each descending meter, the weight of the world above lightened and the wonders of Neptune's refuge unveiled. Bioluminescent corals illuminated the path, their soft glow guiding the way like underwater stars. The water was neither cold nor warm, a gentle embrace that felt like a comforting blanket. It welcomed every traveler, whispering tales of ancient mariners and mythical creatures. Ancient archways, entwined with seaweeds, marked the entrance to the city. They stood tall and magnificent, a testament to a civilization that once thrived in harmony with the sea. Graceful manta rays glided overhead, their silhouettes casting dancing shadows. They acted as guardians, watching over the city's silent streets and forgotten tales. As travelers ventured deeper, the city's heartbeat echoed in the rhythmic sway of seaweeds and the balletic dances of fish. Schools of vibrant fish swam synchronously, creating swirling patterns that seemed choreographed by nature itself. Each structure within Neptune's refuge told a story. There were palaces carved from mother of pearl, their iridescent walls reflecting countless colors as if painted by the morning sun. Nearby, coral towers spiraled upwards, hosting colonies of clownfish that darted in and out playfully. But it wasn't just the architecture that mesmerized. The city was alive with the music of the sea, the gentle hum of distant whale songs, the melodic clicks of dolphin pods communicating, and the soft lullaby sung by the currents. In the city's heart stood Poseidon's square, a vast expanse with a statue of Neptune holding his trident aloft. It was said that during certain lunar phases, the trident shimmered, signaling a celestial dance between the moon and the ocean. The streets of Neptune's refuge were filled with curiosities. Seashell boutiques showcased precious gems, while anemone inns offered cozy resting spots for wandering sea creatures. Beyond the main squares and markets, smaller alleys and pathways led to serene gardens, where soft blue plants emitted a gentle luminescence. Here, weary souls would find solace, listening to the tales of ancient turtles and wise seahorses. One popular legend was that of the Luminous Lagoon, a hidden spot within Neptune's refuge, where the waters sparkled brighter than anywhere else. It was believed that those who bathed in its waters would have dreams so vivid they could relive their fondest memories. Explorers were often drawn to the whispering caves. These mysterious caverns, hidden deep within the city's rocky outcrops, echoed with the voices of past travelers. Each whisper was said to be a message or a lesson left behind for future adventurers. The local cuisine was a spectacle in itself. Floating markets offered delicacies like glowing plankton pudding and algae wraps, filled with tangy seaweed. For the brave, there were dishes flavored with the fieriest undersea peppers, known to ignite a warmth that could ward off the chill of the deepest waters. As evening approached, the city transformed. Bioluminescent creatures lit up the pathways, and jellyfish lanterns floated upwards, casting an otherworldly glow over Neptune's refuge, making it seem like a starry night submerged in the deep blue. When night fully descended upon the city, a grand amphitheater carved into a massive coral formation became the center of attraction. Here, mesmerizing performances took place with mermaids and mermen showcasing their talents, their melodious voices weaving stories of old. In another part of Neptune's refuge, the Dreamweavers prepared for their nightly ritual. These were skilled magicians who could capture and weave dreams into intricate tapestries. For the residents, it was a privilege to have one's dreams woven, for they believed it brought good luck. A particular tradition involved the young adults of the city. On the eve of their 20th year, they would gather around the crystal grotto. Here, they'd release tiny glowing orbs into the water, symbolizing their wishes and hopes for the future. Deep within the refuge, an ancient library stood, holding scrolls and books detailing the history and knowledge of the undersea world. It was said that some scrolls had the power to reveal secrets about the universe. 
many scholars and sages would lose themselves in its labyrinthine corridors, seeking wisdom. The midnight hour heralded the dance of the luminescent. Squids, jellyfish, and other bioluminescent beings performed a synchronized dance, their glow painting a moving tableau of light and shadow, a breathtaking display that left spectators in awe. The allure of Neptune's refuge was not just its magnificent beauty, but also the deep-seated sense of community and harmony. Each being, irrespective of their origins, played a pivotal role in maintaining the city's balance. Within the coral chambers, a group of seahorses and clownfish managed the transportation system. Their coordinated efforts ensured that currents were adjusted, allowing smooth transit through the waterways. Their diligence was a testament to the coexistence and cooperation of different species. Near the heart of Neptune's refuge was the Hall of Memories, a place where inhabitants could relive their cherished moments. Enchanted pearls, stored memories, which when touched, replayed these moments in shimmering water bubbles. For many, it was a way to reconnect with loved ones or revisit defining life moments. As dawn approached, the residents of the city would gather at the sunken plaza where a majestic orca named Eldrick, known for his wisdom, would share tales of the past. His stories often held lessons, reminding everyone of the importance of unity and love. With the first rays of the sun piercing the water's surface, the city of Neptune's refuge would slowly dim its lights. Residents would retire to their abodes, taking comfort in the thought that another day in their magical home awaited them. The harmony, magic, and wonder of the underwater realm would continue to thrive, hidden from the world above, a secret sanctuary of dreams.